hello viewers and welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, uh, pemphigus uh, vulgaris you know uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel you know and uh, you know come to the topic you know what is uh, uh, pemphigus vulgaris you know well, it is a rare uh, autoimmune disorder, you know, or autoimmune disease, you know, and uh, it causes painful blistering on the skin and on the mucous membranes, you know. And if you have the autoimmune disease, your immune system mistakenly attacks your healthy tissues, you know. It's the most common type of the group of uh, autoimmune disorders called uh, Pemphigus, you know, and each type of the pemphigus is characterized by location uh, where the blisters form, you know. And uh, pemphigus uh, vulgaris affects the mucous membranes, uh, which are found on the areas including like uh, mouth or maybe eyes or nose and throat and uh, genitals and maybe the lungs, you know, or maybe eyes, you know. Okay, so. Uh, this disease usually starts uh, with the blisters in the mouth and then on the skin, you know. And the blisters sometimes affect the membranes of the genitals as well, you know. So, uh, pemphigus vulgaris can be dangerous. Okay, so treatment is important and typically it involves the use of corticosteroids to suppress the immune system, you know. And the condition can cause a serious complication if it's not treated, you know. And some of these complications can be fatal. So it's important that you treat this condition properly, you know. And the death rate from this disease uh, had averaged 75% before corticosteroids were introduced in 1950s, you know. But this has improved dramatically with today's treatments, you know. So it's a serious disease. It's rare, but it's a serious disease. The next thing is what are the symptoms, you know. Well, the symptoms uh, may include like painful blisters uh, that start in the mouth or uh, uh, the skin areas. Skin blisters near the surface of the skin that comes and goes and the oozing, crusting, peeling at the blister site. So these are the symptoms, you know. Now, as we know that it is autoimmune disorder, so we don't know the cause, you know. and. Uh, but the antibodies normally attack the harmful foreign substances like the bacteria and the viruses, you know. But in this case, uh, uh, the autoimmune system mistakenly makes antibodies against the proteins in the healthy skin and mucous membranes, you know. So the antibodies break down uh, the bonds between the cells and the fluids, uh, uh, fluid collects between the uh, large layers of the skin, you know. And this leads to the blisters and uh, erosions of the skin, you know. So the precise cause of the attack uh, by the autoimmune system is not known. So uh, very rarely the certain medications can cause uh, this condition. And uh, those drugs may include like uh, um, uh, penicillin, uh, you know, and maybe AC inhibitors. So penicillin is uh, uh, the medication uh, which is a, like chelating agent, you know that removes the certain materials from the blood, you know. And uh, AC inhibitors are the type of drugs uh, which are the uh, blood pressure medications, you know, to control the blood pressure. So these two types of the medications can cause uh, this sometimes, you know. They can trigger, you know. Well, it's not contagious uh, and cannot be transmitted from one person to other person, you know. So, uh, it also does not appear to be transmitted from parent to child, okay? So, uh, a person's genes can put them at high risk for the condition, you know. But if your parents or the other family members had or have the condition, you are more likely to develop it, you know. <coughs> it can affect uh, all races, all ages and all genders, you know. So, uh, but is uh, more common 
uh, in the certain groups like uh, uh, people from the Mediterranean descent, you know, Eastern European Jews and the people who live in the rainforest in Brazil and the middle-aged and the older people, you know. So these are the high-risk uh, groups, you know. Another expression is how do doctors diagnose? Well, a dermatologist will conduct a physical examination of your skin, of the blisters, you know. And they will look for an uh, indicator of the condition called uh, like uh, uh, Nikoleski's sign, you know. So the positive Nikoleski sign is when your skin like uh, shears off easily, uh, when the surface is wiped sideways, you know, with the cotton swab or a finger, you know. So this, uh, if this is positive, you know, which means that uh, it's a diagnostic test, you know. So your doctor may uh, then take a biopsy uh, of that blister to see under the microscope about uh, the presence of antibodies, you know. And uh, uh, your doctor can use this information to determine the type of the uh, amphibious, you know. Now, the next one, what are the types, you know? So the types are like uh, pemphigus uh, felicis or maybe pemphigus uh, vulgaris or maybe pemphigus uh, vegetones, you know? So these are the different types of the uh, pemphigus, you know? Or maybe uh, paraneoplastic uh, pemphigus is the fourth one, you know? So these are the different types of the, uh, this condition. Uh, now I come to the uh, treatment options you know well as we know that it's uh, autoimmune disorder so we don't know the cause so we cannot treat cannot be cured but uh, we can control the symptoms you know like uh, with the use of uh, prednisone or corticosteroids tropical or maybe in the pill forms you know and maybe the uh, immunosuppressants you know so this way we can control the symptoms and uh, but these uh, drugs used to treat uh, the symptoms may have some side effects, you know, like uh, maybe osteoporosis or cataracts, or increased likelihood of becoming infected, you know, because due to stress, uh, stressed immune system, you know, a glycoma, maybe increased blood sugar, you know, and diabetes, loss of muscle tones, you know, muscle mass, you know, and uh, stomach ulcers and uh, water retention, you know. So these are the side effects of these medications, you know. And... Uh, you may need to take supplements such as calcium and vitamin D because uh, to avoid the uh, osteoporosis, you know. Uh, and uh, eat the low sugar diets, you know, and take other medications that to treat the side effects, you know. <coughs> and, uh, and to help to keep the dose of corticosteroids low, you know, your doctor may prescribe the additional medications that uh, Express the immune system and they include like uh, uh, methotroxate, you know, or uh, maybe uh, roximab, you know. So these are the different medications which are used as uh, they are the immunosuppressants, you know. Uh, Sometimes if there is a sign of infection, then you may need uh, antibiotics or maybe antiviral or maybe antifungal uh, medications, you know. And uh, uh, if there are sores or the blisters in the mouth and, uh, and they are very severe, you know, in that case, you may need intravenous IV feeding, you know. And uh, in severe cases, uh, plasma phrases is an other treatment option and uh, a person may undergo this procedure known as uh, plasma phrases and this is the procedure uh, it's intended uh, to remove the antibodies attacking the skin from the blood you know so during this procedure the plasma or the fluid of the blood is removed uh, by a device or replaced with the donated plasma you know and uh, the treatment can be very expensive you know and uh, the, the good management of the wounds you know the blisters you know it's another option you know sometimes you know to keep the wounds uh, clean so uh, the good management of the wounds is also uh, 
uh, the part of the treatment. Uh, well, the complications can be fatal and uh, severe, you know, and this may include like uh, dehydration or uh, side effects of the medication like uh, uh, immunosuppressants and uh, uh, corticosteroids like osteoporosis or maybe you are more likely to have the infections, you know, because of the suppressed immune system, you know, uh, sepsis and infections, you know. So these are the complications which can be fatal, you know. Uh, if it's left untreated, uh, it can be life-threatening. And the most common cause of death is a severe secondary infection, you know. Uh, as you know that it, this is a lifelong condition, you know. It cannot be cured. But the most people go into like remission after receiving the corticosteroids. So it's important uh, uh, that uh, uh, you take the proper care of uh, your health. You know. Thank you very much for watching this uh, video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. You know. And please do not forget to like, subscribe or share these videos to support this channel. Thank you and goodbye.